Hello everyone, welcome to the awesome deck. Hope everyone's awesome as always. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've got a couple menus up on the screen today as we are here um, in the Linux desktop environment. And uh, we're just going to try to do the final configurations today, uh, hopefully to uh, reestablish uh, my, my Ethernet connection through Linux, since I do have it working in Windows um, through the IPv4. Uh, we're trying to see if we can get that established to work in Linux as well, because there's been some kind of handshake um, disagreement that's been happening. Uh, I assume it has something to do with the IPv6 DNS server setting on my gateway uh, router at this point in time, but my ISP wants to say that it has to be something in the um, Steam Deck hardware itself. Uh, however, that doesn't make any sense if I'm able to connect using Windows, um, but not Linux. You know, if it connects in Windows, then it's not a hardware issue, it's a software issue. And that's just simply a matter of uh, reducing away what the issues are. And speaking of how that goes, it brings us to today, as you can see, I have this uh, new letter from Valve, and uh, they want me to run some final diagnostics, uh, hopefully, to uh, get the situation resolved, and I want to go over them with you here today. So, um, email reads, thank you for the info. I don't see anything immediately wrong with your setup. There are some things that are incorrect in the connection configuration, but they shouldn't result in no IPv4 address. And what he's referring to is I sent about four different configurations in so that uh, we could just kind of have a good shotgun kind of approach of information that they could have available as to what's going on with the network in the various settings. So um, it continues. Uh, in cases like these, uh, the point of failure can either be that the deck isn't requesting an address or that the router isn't replying uh, with which address to use. Following the set of commands that will help us uh, get a bit more information into what is going on during the IPv4 address negotiation process. Now we the handshake that we're talking about. Um, uh, alternatively, you can also factor reset your device under the game mode settings systems menu uh, to rule out any bad configuration with the deck. This would be the fastest way to get the deck into a known good software state. But if it does fix the problem, we won't know how, what to fix in the SteamOS to make the problem easier to address in the future uh, for future users. So if, you, uh, so if you can, running through the extra steps below would be greatly appreciated. Well, we can definitely do that. In fact, uh, even before this, I uh, kind of ran through them um, just to kind of give a rough pass. So. Uh, we're already here in the desktop mode, and then uh, we, let's see, are going to get our connections from the, let's see, the network connections section in the left panel. What he's basically telling me to do is he wants to bring up my uh, configuration, which we can actually just do just by right-clicking right here, and then go to configure network. All right, so um, as I said, it is asking for this information. All right, click on the Ethernet connection, click on each general configuration, wired, IPv4, sub tabs. Curious to see the settings on the video. Um, they are quite helpful, by the way. Well, thank you. I do appreciate uh, the acknowledgement. I'm glad that uh, they've been a help to you uh, as uh, this is a situation that we're all trying to get through together, so. Um, on the Steam Wired connection, uh, this is just a base level configuration. And this is actually from the instructions he's giving me. I already just created it, but uh, it's still, still not connecting. But uh, I have a theory, and we're going to play that out here. Um, but I want to go through all the steps with you all so you can see exactly what we need to do. So. Um, Let's see, on the general configuration, we were looked at that. So now we need to turn on the log info level for the network service. And we're going to do that through a sudo command. So we need to be here in our console. And since we can just copy and paste these things, we just go ahead and collect right here. Oh, got to get the 
forward. And you only need to get what is inside the, uh, the I guess, uh, quotation brackets. And then go here, paste that. The enter key. Make sure I'm actually connected. Okay. All right. Asking for my password. Okay, so we already have the terminal open right here where it says open terminal and run command. So just go ahead and run that right here. Paste that. Oh, that's not what we want. Yeah. I'm sure that that's not what we want to do. Let's copy, not the page URL. Jeez. There we go. Alright. Try that again. Alright, so now we've got this information popping up here. Let's go to this uh, Ethernet connection. It is, is it currently connected? It is not. So, um, we'll go ahead and we'll try to connect it. It's trying to tell me to reconnect. And let me pop this window up so we can see what's going on here. I will, of course, be sending this log, um, a, a hard copy of the log, to Steam um, at the end of this diagnostic run. Make sure that we've got everything all as it should be. All right. So, now we're going to delete that connection. So let's go ahead and delete. All right. That is gone. all Ethernet connections is the only one. Alright, so now we run this code right here. And this is going to create a big log file on the desktop. It says. So let's go ahead and that's it. Alright. Paste our file and hit enter key. Okay. Um, all right. And then it wants us to go back to gaming mode. And then uh, I will pull this up on the other camera so that we can kind of get a better idea of what we're doing with that. So let me go ahead and we'll pause this right here. Okay, so uh, right now we are at the point where we're getting ready to uh, restart the Steam Deck in game mode. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Let me go ahead and move this camera so we can actually watch what I'm doing here. Make sure that I'm in the correct mouse mode. And let's go back to gaming. And while this is uh, rebooting, I'll go ahead and re read the remainder of the there we go. God, there we go. The remainder of the video to you, so we can save some time and get everything all taken care of. Um, but uh, basically, it says uh, that after running the device, uh, we should be configured under the stereo wired connection. Well, actually, we're right here at this point. Sorry. Um, First, we're going to get into the game mode once we actually get there. Uh, we will uh, go to the settings and then to the internet 
and then we should see an Ethernet device connection and we'll try to get connected to that. While that is connecting, since we're getting rebooted back into uh, the, see the deck, let's go ahead and bring up those settings. All right, so here we are with the internet. Here's our wired connection one. Since we're disconnected, let's go ahead and try to connect to it, see if it actually connects, takes care of this issue. If this doesn't connect, what we will do uh, is we will go back into our uh, Linux environment one last time to do the manual setup that was mentioned. Um, I honestly believe that if there's going to be anything, it's going to take care of it short of me um, getting in contact with the ISP to configure my gateway router to work appropriately. It will only be this manual configuration. And quite honestly, this is the bit of information that I was hoping to get from Valve this whole time. Um, I have done uh, tech support uh, in the back uh, round of my life, and um, I have set many manual Ethernet connections. It's just this is my first time working within the Arch Linux environment, and so I really wasn't too aware as to uh, what needed to be set up. But um, what we've seen here, though, from the screenshot, is uh, basically we're going to have to set it to a manual method, and we'll do a DNS server. Uh, I believe this is Google's DNS 8.8.8.8 and then we will be putting in our own unique uh, information down here in the routing table. Um, thankfully uh, I now have a better idea on what information I need to put in and where and so hopefully once we uh, get through this process I'm going to let it try to resolve and see if it actually connects. Um, if it does, then hey, we're great. If not, then we will move on to uh, the last bit of the diagnostic to do the manual connection. If that manual connection falls through, then uh, we'll have another one of these videos that will be me tinkering with the inside of my uh, gateway configuration for my uh, fiber optic internet connection here for the office. Um, but. Uh, Let's go ahead and just finish up the email here. Um, let's see, because yeah, it says after that you should run the configuration, the steam wired connection. Um, this will be once we actually get inside Linux again, because right now it's trying to do this uh, connecting to wired connection number one. And so, let's see. If we get connected, we'll look at the connection info. But, uh, otherwise, yeah, it says uh, when we get back to Linux, we should see a Steam wired connection uh, name. Uh, this should fix the configuration errors uh, we saw in the system. But again, it's not very confident. This will solve the problem. Next clue will be how to proceed will be in the log file that was generated uh, on the desktop. So I will send that information along here in just a moment after we get done with all of this uh, wonderful teching. Let's see if we can actually make this connection. Um, it says, additionally, if you know your router's IP address, you can also force the device in the IPv4 mode. Here's a screenshot of what settings need to look like and replace anything in the router uh, with the 192.168.0 with our own router information as we were just discussing. Um, and then he's got a couple notes here. If you don't know the router IP setting, you can run IP space ADDR uh, in the terminal and you should get that information um, sent back to you. Um, and note number two, if you have any trouble running the pseudo command, um, probably needs to be set, uh, set a, the, there needs to be a password set for the system and set the password, the command is PASWD and you wanna do that in the console uh, when you're in Linux. I have already done that as you saw, I was able to uh, do it, and he asked me for um, a password while we were doing things. Uh, I think you saw when it was asking me about the password. Um, but uh, but yeah, I've already got that taken care of. Part of the JSO M.2 um, docking station uh, setup uh, is putting in um, the pseudo password uh, just because it makes it a little bit more um, secure for um, the docking station, I imagine. But um, we are hopefully going to get a resolution here momentarily or we'll hit a 
fault code. So I'm just kind of waiting it out with you until that happens. And um, there it is. All right, so we have a fail. So we'll go ahead and cancel that out. But we're gonna go back in to our desktop menu. So switch to desktop. And uh, I'll get swapped over to desktop. And once we get loaded in, I'll go ahead and uh, take over the screen from there. All right, so here we are back in the Linux desktop area. I've already gone ahead and brought up the windows uh, that we'll need to uh, finish the remainder of the steps. Um, all we're basically going to do is put this manual configuration information into my own personal settings and see if we can actually get an Ethernet connection to come up. Now, as you'll see right now, uh, we do have the Steam Wired connection that was created. Um, and then we are currently connected via my Wi-Fi. And if we want to verify that that is running, let's go ahead and uh, we'll just pull up uh, my Awesome Deck channel. And so it does pull up. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this Ethernet to work by first taking out the Wi-Fi. So we want to verify that everything's going to work. We go here to our video it says the internet is not connecting so let's go ahead and minimize this and first thing we want to do is make sure a general configuration tab that we have this check right here I'm wait 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 hold it right there john you might actually want to make sure that you're in the steamed wired connection setting before you do this next little part of course you're not going to do that because this has already been recorded um, so let's go ahead and just put a little bug here so that everybody would uh, understand that we should be doing it in the steamed wired connection instead right above awesome deck um all this information is still valid i'm just going to let him uh say what he's got to say for a moment and then uh we will take the bug off the screen when he actually gets to the appropriate part and renders the information again um good thing i did just shut off the wi-fi otherwise this might have caused a uh, connection issue but thankfully it won't so Please continue, John. Um, IDs that I've been through this, of course, there's only going to really have to be the one, but just in case, I like to have it set up. And then the only thing we need to do, evidently, is come here to this IV, IV, IPv4 tab. And then, of course, uh, we're going to have to first set to manual from automatic. And then once it's put in a DNS server, the one that it has listed, I believe, is uh, the Google DNS server. So that's pretty global. So let's go ahead and use that. It works pretty well. 8.8.8.8. .8 and then the only other thing that looks that needs to be configured is actually here in the routing table. So let's go ahead and add our route. Now, I have already... Uh, establish what I want my Ethernet connection to be. I have programmed it to the MAC address um, in the uh, gateway router. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use the IP address that I know works in Windows and is attached to this MAC address. If everything works as it should, this should resolve it um, with this manual configuration uh, layout being correct. So um, that's going to be 192.1 Six, eight. Make sure you type this correctly. Uh, dot one. Dot one one one. So dot one eleven is my desired designation. Our net mask uh, will automatically populate. And so we just need to go ahead and put in my gateway, which of course is going to be one nine two. Dot one six eight. And dot one, of course, to make sure that we are in the same subnet. Whoa, that is zero. All right, so make sure we're one up. Oh, one six eight dot one dot two five four. And more likely, I will be updating my gateway router information uh, to be more secure. Uh, after, oh, <laughs> more than likely before I get this posted. But um, with that all stated. Let's go ahead and add it in, and then we're going to head 
and since we've got limited, get this out of my face. Click apply, and looks like it wants to connect now. This isn't going to work, John. Just remember, you're about to make a mistake, so this isn't going to work. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take the bug off the screen because you're going to come back and fix it in just a moment. I want everybody to actually see how this gets resolved. So continue. Let's go ahead and minimize that and see what happens when we are doing our connection. Let's see if we actually get connected. Okay, it says that we are deactivated. Interesting, let's go ahead and make sure we got everything as it's supposed to be. Never used, it's 11 IPv4, automatic. Now, of course, this information would have already been filled in had I been here correctly in the steamed wired connection. But of course, I was putting it in my Google is here which I would later find out after the video concluded, but watch as I make the corrections and get everything resolved. Ah, all right, weird. Okay, well, we'll try that one more time. I'm not sure what had happened there, but it should just be a matter of putting in this information at this point in time, and then everything should hopefully uh, resolve uh, ba, 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 but maybe I missed something a little detail you did the detail was you were in the wrong uh, network <laughs> but anyways wouldn't be the first time okay, 192, 168, 255, I have my manual, got the 8's All right, look at that. It says connection activated. Get this out of my face so we can actually see what's going on here. And, hey, what do you see? Look at that. And we've got, but, uh, we've got information showing up there. So let's go ahead and pull up our, hey, look, everything's back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just uh, play a video so we can see that everything is actually up and running. Um, if you want to take a look at this video, it is about how to use a PS Remote Play inside of OBS to uh, have a more robust um, game stream if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, you can even kind of get an idea of how it works. From this video because it's actually doing um, the thing right now uh, but uh, I go into detail in that video on how to make sure you do the setups um, why you want to make sure that you don't try to connect it through uh, the Steam app which I had done initially but realized that for whatever reason that doesn't allow for the controller configuration to work right but um, the good thing is though what we've learned today is with a little bit of manual configuration uh, most of the Steam Deck issues can probably be resolved. Uh, it would have been nice perhaps to maybe get that information uh, a while back, but at least now we've all had the time to uh, go through all the steps, see all the various places that uh, you know the issue uh, was breaking down, and I'll get that information off to uh, the Steam Deck um, tech support today as well, so that everybody can you know be in on the information on how to go about uh, resolving this faster in the future for anybody who might have these kinds of uh, connectivity issues i'm glad to know that we were able to get it resolved using ipv4 and not having to do any kind of internal 
uh, gateway configurations to my um, to my gateway router. Uh, I really have never dealt with IPv6 DNS settings before, and I really wasn't necessarily looking forward to it. So thankfully, as we can see, we have just a base Ethernet connection. The Wi-Fi has been disconnected, so this internet connection that we're seeing, it absolutely has to be from my Ethernet. So let's just pop back to YouTube again on the main page. You see everything's loading up again. Um, I will have a, a video coming out in the coming days uh, just to let you all know about uh, the Austin Deck progress. Uh, I was very successful, I like to think. Um, of course, success uh, in this instance is going to be like the Wright brothers back in Kitty Hawk. Um, getting the PS5 to talk through my laptop to my Steam Deck um, over a cellular-based network uh, miles away from the house has been successful. Um, but not fully successful, I guess, in the way that it's, you know, like a one-to-one -one, um, kind of uh, experience. But it is a beginning of things, and I will have that video coming to you, uh, showing you how all that works uh, here in the next few days. I'm trying to get it all edited together a little bit nicer, and I also still want to do some testing uh, so that I can maybe even present that to you in a more clear fashion. Um, with a shorter edit. But other than that, uh, if you have any other questions or concerns about the um, Steam Deck uh, projects that I'm working on uh, or anything uh, that's going on specifically with this HB0604, um, I will have more content coming out specifically for this dock station. Now that it's actually working, I will start doing um, diagnostics between the speed difference between transferring files via Ethernet or via Wi-Fi and whether you're doing that to the SD card, the SSD, or the internal hard drive of the system. So we will get all those tested in the coming days now that we have working hardware and again I do thank everybody for taking all your time uh, to uh, spend with me learning about this issue and once again you all have a wonderful week ahead and stay awesome as always. And we will talk to you soon.